Okay, so everything in this video is shot using the Galaxy Note 10. Everything you're going to see in this video, every picture, every video, everything in this video is shot on the Galaxy Note 10. So yeah, welcome to the Galaxy Note 10 review. Okay, so I've tried editing uh, this video on the laptop and uh, it's proving to be quite difficult. So I'm going to edit everything on the phone. Uh, I have Adobe Rush on the phone and I feel like I can edit on the phone and it will come out quite good. So let me edit on the phone instead of the laptop because I found playback on the uh, laptop is quite problematic, which is not something I experience with my camera. I normally use a Canon M50 to shoot and edit on the laptop, but here it's stuttering and not loading a couple of things. So I've just decided I'm going to try and edit using Adobe Rush on the phone. So everything in this video is shot and edited on the Galaxy Note 10. Plus. So I'm cycling from uh, <laughs> One side to get it ruined. I saw it's a distance of about 15 kilometers. I don't know if I can cycle 15 kilometers. But yeah, uh, map says about 10 minutes to go, so. I really, really like the front camera because look at that, it looks really clear. Especially for people who are creating content. Especially if you are just creating content, beauty, makeup and all that and you want to see what you're doing on video This is a really good camera for that I think it's 10 megapixels front camera Yeah And doesn't look like a front camera Most front cameras will have beauty mode and softening and lightening issues This one is very good and it's also sort of stabilized It's bumpy but the video looks quite stable I don't know about the microphones, but I'm sure the microphones are good. So I guess it's good time enough to talk about the cameras of the Note 10. Uh, the Note 10 Plus has three cameras, a wide angle, a zoom one, and a ultra wide angle. Uh, I've seen that uh, they really tried to make all the sensors sort of produce the same quality, but in case you're traveling or taking photos of a landscape area, the best photos you use is the ultra wide angle, as you can see in these photos. Uh, the normal camera is very good in video because it's very stabilized. Most of the shots you see in this video are shot using the normal camera because it takes very stable shots. I think if you were to buy an action camera because you wanted the stable uh, action shots, uh, you can consider a phone and the Note 10 Plus is a phone you can consider.
sometimes you think of architecture and you think humans started building a couple of hundreds of years ago but humans started building so long ago this place looks so good uh, i'm trying to imagine how it must have looked like when it was at its peak when there were people living here when there was population walking around here it must have been a really nice land city it must be a really nice place okay something about the front camera is that you have to hold it a little distance away from you because it crops in on you so if you want to have like a full face or a full sort of body uh, in the video you have to hold it at a quite some distance away it it should be good if you have say a selfie stick yeah if you have a selfie stick or if you have a tripod if you have a gimbal it will be good but if you just want to shoot it handheld you have to stretch out your arm like i'm doing right now i'm uh, my arm is stretched out wide so you can imagine if you were to hold it closer what it will look like Okay, I don't know how big you think a whale is, uh, but this is part of a whale. It's not like the whole whale. I think I can fit in the mouth only. <laughs> uh. I love the battery of this phone. Uh, I've realized I can do more than a day. Uh, especially when I'm traveling and I'm not using the phone full time I've realized at the end of the day it's about 50% I'm getting about 5 to 5 hours and that's around 30% 5 hours of screen on time with around 30% remaining and this other 30% is very hard to drain so in terms of battery the 4300 mAh battery is more than enough plus the fast charging is really good you get a 25 watt adapter inside the box which is very good but there's also the option for a 45 watt charger and uh, with a wireless charging the wireless charging kit that i have uh charges quite slowly i think it's an old generation wireless charger i'm, I'm not sure but that's a wireless charger that i used with the s8 so it's quite old I don't know what you expect with 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, this phone has 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of fast internal storage, and the Snapdragon 855 for the American model and, and uh, uh, an Exynos processor made by Samsung for the worldwide model. So I have the Exynos processor model, and it's a fast phone, uh, gaming, uh, performance, everything. I think you know with a flagship phone what to expect with uh, performance, with, especially with 12 gigs of RAM and in uh, fast internal storage. So in terms of performance, it's really good, really, really, really good.
So I've edited everything uh, using the S Pen and using Adobe Rush on the Note 10, which is just amazing. I've realized that with the S Pen, I really don't need uh, to really struggle with uh, getting to a particular clip, adding text, and just doing the tiny stuff uh, on the timeline while editing the video and I've really enjoyed that. So I've been one of those people who says the S Pen is just for writing but I found such a good use for the S Pen and this video is proof for that. Uh, the S Pen has made my editing process using Adobe Rush really easy. talked about the S Pen, we've talked about performance, uh, we've talked about battery life, uh, you've seen all the footage in this video is shot by the Note 10 Plus. Uh, a couple of things we haven't talked about or I haven't talked about are there is something called live video, live focus on video. Normally if you can take a portrait uh, photo and blur it, the Samsung Note 10 is adding the feature where you can blur the background when taking videos. It has a couple of issues, which is okay because it's a first generation uh, sort of product or sub or feature that will get better with time. We haven't touched on air doodles where you can uh, draw something in the air and sort of keep it there. For example, you can draw uh, an object on my head and keep it in focus while walking around and all that. and can zoom in on it, you can do a couple of cool stuff with it. I haven't tested that because as you can already see, I'm doing the video alone. I'm using the phone, I have no subject to test all that on. But these are not important features of a phone. You want to be getting that because it can do all these cool features. Okay, so now concluding, it, uh, concluding this review, I don't know how long it's going to be because I've shot a couple of clips from different days and I will try and merge everything into one. So in conclusion, uh, I already said while unboxing that this is the best Android phone out there uh, in terms of specs, in terms of uh, what you get, in terms of just everything. It's waterproof, it's dust proof, it, it has fast wireless charging, it has uh, fast charging, it has a huge battery, it has one of the best displays on a smartphone except for the refresh rate. Uh, it's just an, a well all round smartphone and you won't be missing a feature because it has almost everything a smartphone can have. But one thing, that's the headphone jack. And that is something that really bugs me, especially as someone who shoots videos and shoots sort of this style of videos. I want to have my microphone plugged in so that I can uh, hook it here. But I can't do it with this phone. Why? Because my microphone has to be plugged in on the headphone jack and this phone doesn't have a headphone jack. The good thing however is the mic uh, microphones of this phone are really good and that's why all the audio I've been sharing with you from all the videos sounds quite good. Uh, that's a good thing but the headphone jack is a really important uh, port and I don't see a reason why Samsung removed, removed it because I can see so much space. They managed to fit an S Pen so they could have easily fit a uh, headphone jack and they'll have many excuses but we all know that the main reason uh, most companies are removing headphone jacks is because there's money to be made. Samsung has uh, Galaxy Buds, Apple has AirPods, other companies have other things and that's why the companies who are not yet removing the headphone jack still don't have alternatives where they can sell or convince uh, customers to buy these wireless earbuds and headphones. So yeah, as an all-round phone, uh, except for the headphone jack, it's a great device and if you have the money for it, go and get it because you will enjoy using it. So yeah, that has been the review. If you love this video, please like, share and subscribe and see you next time.